I think the main thing that the patient was experiencing was the rash and complications of the rash. So concern of super infection of the rash. Those were really the reasons that the patient um, came into the hospital. There is an antiviral uh, that one can utilize uh, for a patient with monkeypox. And this is an antiviral that's available to us through um, an IND, so an investigational new drug protocol that's overseen by the CDC. So with the help of our uh, local public health colleagues, we um, got on top of setting up that protocol at Seattle Children's early on. So we would be ready to be able to uh, provide the antiviral um, if we needed to. And, and that's exactly what we did once we had the confirmed uh, test result, we started that antiviral for the patient. And it, it did really seem like there was uh, some improvement in the, in the days following starting the antiviral. The virus is uh, less contagious than many pathogens, like even COVID or SARS-CoV-2, the cause of COVID-19. Uh, and it, it does generally requ require closer contact. So it's not the kind of um, uh, illness that is likely to be transmitted in school settings now. Um, it's just because the number of cases in kids is so low. And again, it requires close contact. Um, it's a very, very low risk uh, to kids who are going about their usual activities like attending school and other activities like that. If you know your child's been exposed to a confirmed case of monkeypox, then you do really wanna be keeping a very close eye on them. And, um, if they do develop any symptoms, like, like you mentioned earlier, the, the early symptoms of monkeypox can sometimes be nonspecific. So that would be the time you'd wanna keep your child at home. And then if they were to develop a rash, um, you definitely wanna be talking to the child's um, uh, physician or primary care provider to figure out what to do next. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.